Tensions flare on the streets of Venezuela's capital, Caracas, during mass protests against President Nicolas Maduro's government. For the most part, however, the situation is said to have remained relatively peaceful. The opposition Democratic Unity Coalition say at least one million people hit the city streets in the biggest show of force in years. They'd come to demand a recall vote to remove the president from power. The socialist government supporters also held counter-rallies. Despite widespread anger over runaway inflation, chronic food shortages and rampant crime, Maduro has accused his opponents of plotting a coup against him. This anti-government protester said, we're fighting against deprivation, against hunger, this country's suffering insecurity. The government steals, traffics drugs, kidnaps. We want the government to go and this is why all of Venezuela is here. We don't want this government anymore. We want to free our country. The will of the people is stronger than the threat of government violence, said this opposition leader. You can see that from the number of people that have mobilized. These people can't be threatened by fear or hunger. Ni por el miedo, ni por el hambre. The wife of jailed opposition leader Leopoldo López also took part in the protest. She said today we are telling the world 94% of Venezuelans want to change a change of government and will achieve it. You can see how serious things are, said this woman. This is the reality. We really need help. We are in a total emergency situation. The opposition hope the rally will pile pressure on the country's electoral authorities to allow them to launch the second petition needed to trigger a national vote. Our correspondent in Caracas says the march has been described as an historic mobilization by opposition leaders. They have said the next rally on September 7th will go to the National Electoral Council to demand a date for the recall referendum on Nicolas Maduro's rule. Termine una vez por todas la fecha del referéndum revocatorio contra el presidente de la República, Nicolás Maduro. Eduardo Salazar desde Caracas para Euronews.